Planet T for Teen. Hello and welcome back, Summoners! With every email we open, with every event we attend, we see how talented and inventive you folks can be. You take League of Legends and you make it into art, food, clothing, garden furnishings, and the wonders never cease. Here we have a new array of creations for your very eyes to excite, inspire, and to share. Let's start off with something a little snackish from the hands and kitchen of Blair Cat. A trio of Teemo should round out any snack attack with your choice of original, rabbit, or panda. In addition, what would a little bento be without a couple mushrooms and miscellaneous octopi? Still hungry? We have a second course coming right up from a chef whose name means Empress of Winter. A happy little Teemo face and a mix of meats, so you'll never get bored, including some hot dog flowers. I look forward to eating his artfully cut eyelashes first. Perhaps we should round it out with a little dessert? Your choice, of course, but try not to eat anything endangered, or else you'll get gummy tibbers angry. Lollipops, licorice, chocolate flowers, and more. It'll take a little bit of restraint to pick only a few instead of sampling all the local wildlife. Annie, of course, looks as sweet as can be in the middle of every kid's dream. If that didn't satisfy your sweet tooth, there's really not much more we can do other than show you Snow Emery's Ramus Cake. Wait, cones for spines? Dude, sign me up for some cake cones. I am thrilled with the prospect. Although this Ramus might look like a delicious treat, it's his last effort to dissuade you from taking a bite by claiming he's just okay. What about a lighter sort of dessert? And a little practical joke to match, says Keegan Leafy. Zach wants in on the fun. That being said, I, I think I've had nightmares about this. Jello is a rather nefarious dessert to begin with. Good thing it's just Zach and not something gross like monster blood. If all that talk of sugar has you wired, you wouldn't be the only one. The math whiz has made a hobby out of just that. Much like neon signs, it's amazing what someone can do with a single wire or tube twisted into so many designs. Timo, including his detailed blowgun, gives us a little hup to march. Taking a walk in the woods is a bit more rare than it used to be, but can you imagine if the woods could come to you? This cosplay from Bacon Dispenser, Nick and Danielle, is enormous, detailed, and completely lifelike. Also, a real nightmare if you don't like trees that talk. But who doesn't? I'd have a chat with some trees any day. That's not the only time you'll see incredible cosplay. Just recently in Los Angeles, the annual Anime Expo took place, and summoners from all around Southern California dressed up. Unofficial headcount? Over 200 League of Legends cosplayers roamed the halls and posed for pictures, so many that they couldn't even fit into the same photo. There were multiple skins and many well-known faces. Thanks so much to everyone who came to strut their stuff at Anime Expo. Share your own photos and give these cosplayers the love they deserve. That wraps up this week of Summoner submissions, although that isn't all. Every week we discover more and more creations, and we have you to thank. Keep those works coming. We will look forward to seeing them. So until next time, avoid sweets overdose, and we will see you next episode.